Hello! Today we're going to make a quick template for our MLA style papers uh, that we can just save. It's not an official Word template format, uh, but it's very easily accessible and we can use it a lot uh, for our classes, especially if we're in a composition class. Okay, you'll see I've pasted some sample text that's not formatted. And after your sample text, which can be a sentence, a paragraph, however much you want, also paste in a sample reference down here below it. And you can just simply type the words sample reference. But get all this text ready to go, and then insert your cursor in the upper left-hand corner. And type your name. Hit enter. Parentheses. Type professor's name, enter, course name, enter, date, enter. Now, on the date, that's not a very good indication of how it should be formatted in MLA style. So go back up and highlight that word, and we'll change that to the actual format that MLA uses. We'll click outside of the parentheses, hit enter, and then come up here and center your cursor and type title. Okay, now we're going to highlight all of our text and we'll make sure that our uh, spacing and fonts and whatnot are all set correctly. You should be uh, on an acceptable font by MLA standards. Uh, you can go with New Times Roman, or there's several different choices. Uh, but I'll go with this one just because it's the default and looks fine. We'll set our font size to 12. And we'll go over, and we want this double space. Now, normally, we would just click here to double space it, and that works. However, we also want to make sure that our spacing in between our paragraphs is the same as the spacing in between the sentences. Notice how large this space is between this paragraph break. So I want the paragraph dialog box, clicking this little icon here, and over here there's a pop-up window, and this is what we want to set. We want these both to be zero point in here, and you'll notice that we could have set our line spacing here as well to double. Click OK, and now we have a nice double spaced paper, but we still need to set up our references section separately. So put your cursor at the end of your normal text, and we are going to go over to the Insert tab and click Page Break. And you'll notice that automatically split the page for us. Go back to the Home tab, center the cursor, and type Works Cited. Now our Works Cited page needs a hanging indent, so highlight just the sample reference, even if it's just two words that say sample reference, highlight it. And we want to click on the uh, middle icon here in the paragraph area. It looks like a little half diamond pointing upward, and pull it over five spaces. And that gives us our hanging indent. And we will scroll back up and highlight all of our text not the title, just the text, the body, and we will click the upper half diamond and move it over five spaces. So now we are indented here. Okay. Our next step is to double click in the header, and that's just at the top of any page, we double click, and it brings up the header and footer tools tab. Go over to page number, a pull down menu, slide down to top of page, slide over and down to plane number three. It's the one that shows a number one on the right hand side and click that. And you'll see that a number one has been inserted for us. We want to type our last name and then a space and then click back into the body of your paper to get out of the header and fo footer tab and you'll notice that my last name followed by the page number has now been inserted into every page of this paper. Okay, it looks like we are fully formatted into MLA now. 
we really don't need all this text in a template, so I'll go ahead and delete the body of my text, and I'll just put start writing here. And when I come back in, I can just highlight this text and begin overwriting it. My work cited, I'll leave that alone, but uh, you may want to get several examples. You know, this is obviously a website. You might want to get a book, and, and just as you format different things, leave yourself examples on the template. Uh, there is a way to do references straight out of Word that will do in-text citations for you. We're not going to get quite that detailed this time, but it is, it is handy. Uh, if you're going to be reusing the same reference several times on a larger paper, it's especially handy. But all we're going to do is just save this file, and I'll save it to my desktop as template or MLA style, and you can name it anything you want, of course. And the, the only important thing to remember for using this template is that if we close it out, and then reopen it a couple of days later, we want to immediately, before we start overwriting this, save it as our new file name. So instead of template for MLA style, I've opened it to do paper one for comp two. I can go ahead and save this, and this way I won't overwrite that template I just made. You'll notice that the file name has changed. You know, it's not the end of the world if you accidentally overwrite a template. It's pretty easy to, to either back out of the changes using Control-Z and resave your template or just erase the material that you inserted and, and resave it. Um, but the whole idea of creating this template was to save a little time by not having to format one every time we had a paper due. And I think we have accomplished that goal quite nicely. So thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more advanced word techniques coming soon.